Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is second video in TrueNAS Advanced Training Tutorial and in this video I am going to show you the installation of TrueNAS operating system and we are going to cover both TrueNAS Core and TrueNAS Scale operating system installation. So the installation is quite similar, there was no difference uh, in, the, in the options or installation. The only thing is ISO is uh, different uh, as I uh, uh, given you the demo in the last video so these are the two different type of edition available for TrueNAS so TrueNAS core is a completely free to download and use and TrueNAS scale uh, you need to basically get the license for uh, to enable the enterprise based solutions and enterprise based uh, support and all those things so we'll uh, do the walkthrough uh, for the installation of both and we'll verify what are the basic difference between TrueNAS Core and TrueNAS Scale so if you compare both overall both are same the only thing is features are going to be different so like as I said in last video the core is uh, completely free download and use and this is free to download and use but if you need a uh, enterprise support you need to get the uh, valid licenses and this is the uh, TrueNAS SQL is a hypervised uh, hyper uh, hyper converse computer and storage and solution which is best for application VM scale out and hardware compatibility and again this is a combination of single and multi node edition which is not available in core so we'll go ahead and deploy the both uh, operating system on the VMware workstation and we'll see what are the difference and going forward in the next videos I'll cover first uh, TrueNAS core and then we will uh, move out from core to scale and then we will try to set up a multi node uh, uh, environment in the TrueNAS scale where we can see how the hyperconverged environment work in the TrueNAS so this is the my uh, lab environment so I got my physical machine on top of my physical machine I have installed VMware workstation 16 so if you see I got a physical machine with uh, i7 x x7 uh, x series pro processor which is 7800x and memory is 128 gig of memory and operating system I have installed Windows 10 Pro uh, uh, professional and desk I got 1 TB M2 SSD and 1 TB normal SSD both has from Samsung and the software requirement basically you need a hypervisor since these are both true NAS uh, operating system I'm going to run in a virtual machine so I got hypervisor which is VMware workstation 16 Pro so if you see here I have installed VMware workstation 16 if I go to help you, you can see here this is 16.2 so this is my hypervisor and again you need a Microsoft operating system image and few other things so basically on ISO side you need a true NAS ISO and one Windows Server ISO so why Windows Server ISO because going for uh, forward in coming videos I am going to use this uh, Windows machine as my domain controller where we will integrate this true NAS storage with our domain infrastructure and we'll do the authentication and other thing uh, by using the domain account so these are the few demo information so this is my first machine which is active directory and dns server this is already deployed so i have deployed in last video so this is win2k uh, windows server uh, 2022 standard edition and this is running as active directory and dns server so this is my domain control and DNS server so you can see the configuration also IP address CPU memory disk and these uh, these two machines we are going to deploy in this video first one is true NAS core and second one is true NAS scale so both are going to have IP address from DHCP so I got my uh, modem which is giving the internet to my machine having the DHCP enabled so if you see here core 4 core 30 GB of memory I'm going to give to these uh, machines so let's go ahead so click on create a new virtual machine click next then you can select the ISO so uh, so in my installer disk image you can see I got first true NAS core ISO image which I have downloaded from true NAS website and click next and this is going to be my
coolness core and hit enter and then I'm going to give it 200 GB or you can give less also so let's give 100 GB minimum is 20 GB which is required and then I'm going to customize the hardware also so let's go ahead and click on finish and then customize the hardware so first thing give the memory so I'm going to give 32 GB memory and let's give it two processor and two core per processor so four and then ISO image is already selected I'm going to use my VMnet 0 and USB we can remove sound we can remove now let's go ahead and click on power on so now this will boot from the true NAS so if you see here you will uh, see the true NAS installation so it's booting from the ISO file which we have mounted now give it some few seconds it will boot to the installation and it will ask for installation so you can see true NAS 13.0 so just click on install and upgrade so now it will ask you to select the disk so you can click on space on your keyboard and it will select the disk click OK and then it will give you the true NAS installation so installation on SATA's uh, SAS NVMe is recommended so click OK and then you need to set the root password for true NAS so type the password and then you can see the boot mode so I'm going to use the boot via BIOS and then it will ask you to create a uh, swap partition at least 16 gigs so just go ahead and create the swap now you can see it's booting soon it will start the installation for the true NAS so now you can see the installing base OS and phase 1 of 3 so it will take some time so the installation is very light it's not going to take more than I guess 5 minutes to get the installation for true NAS so let's wait for some time and just validate the progress so 10 percent is completed my uh, meanwhile we can go ahead and deploy the second appliance which is scale so just click on new virtual machine next and then select the right iso for true nas scale and click next and leave the default and give it name so true nas scale and give the disk 100 GB will be fine click next and finish so it will create the virtual machine now so you can see the installation is almost 100 percent so it's done so now you can see two NAS installation on DS0 succeeded you can reboot the machine this is good so now what I'm going to do shut down the machine and once the machine is shut down I will remove the ISO file which I have mapped to this machine uptime you can see 2 minutes 27 seconds only so the installation is very fast so now I am going to remove the ISO file just power on so now this machine will boot with the true NAS so you can see the booting now and soon you will see the login page from where you can do the basic configuration so just give it some time so it's setting up some plugins and all those things since this is booting first time starting interfaces now it's almost done so now you can see the console setup is available and the web user interface is also available on this IP address so let's go ahead and check the web browser 
so I'm going to use the Microsoft Edge to log into the console so 192.168.0.114 I guess was the IP address from here you can see and you can see the true NAS core is available too. so just put the password and try to log in so now you can see we have successfully logged into <coughs> true NAS core which we have deployed so you can see all the details like system information what are the operating system install uptime you can see the how many cores threads are available on this machine and you can see the interface status and all these details so first thing we'll go ahead and see the IP address detail so if you want to edit the IP address detail you can go here and basically you can go and change the IP address what IP address you want to apply I'm going to give some IP address let's say 168.0.0.161 and just click on add basically you can click on apply now you can see the IP address is changed so test change so if you want to do the testing for this you can perform the testing now if you go to dashboard and from here you can see the enter option so you can see my IP address is got changed now this is now <coughs> e61 so if I go here and type 161 you can see the login page is available and now you can log in with the new static IP address which we have just changed so this is good so now if I come here you can see the IP address is changed so we have successfully installed the TrueNAS core and you can see all other features available dashboard account system everything is available now let's go ahead and deploy the install the TrueNAS scale so I have created the virtual machine uh, so now just set the memory 32 gig and I'm going to give core and I'm going to select virtu uh, virtualize Intel so we can deploy the virtual machine it will enable the virtualization technology on this machine so remove the USB and remove the sound also click OK and now boot this machine so again as I said the installation is going to be a very same there was no difference between the installation of TrueNAS core or TrueNAS scale the only thing there were some core based changes and feature based changes with both operating system which is available from TrueNAS so now if you see plugins are available sharing is available SMB block share eyes can see Windows SMB everything is available here so we'll go ahead and next videos we will focus on the doing all the feature testing and all so select the disk where you want to install and yes I want to install so type the password click OK so create swap so basically if you see here like most of the features like uh, sharing features iSCSI and SMB these all available in both TrueNAS scale and TrueNAS um, core so I'm going to focus on first on TrueNAS core and the same features are going to be available in TrueNAS scale also the only thing when we reach out to the some configuration where we can do the multi multi node level configuration and hyper converse those things then you will see the uh, TrueNAS scale going to be benefit us so now the installation is done it's performing the post installation task so this is good now it will take few more seconds to get the installation completed so now the installation is completed just click on ok 
and shut down the machine and once the machine is powered off you can go ahead and remove the ISO file and then power on the machine so close the power on it will take the IP address from DHCP and same, same time we are going to change the IP address from DHCP to static so this is recommended to always have a static IP address on your critical servers or storage and any other device so I'm going to change the IP address from DHCP to static and if you don't have the DHCP server enabled then post the installation once the machine is uh, back to console you can go ahead and enable uh, do the configuration part also uh, from the console itself to set up the static IP address on the machine without login to GUI uh, web browser basically so give it some time it will give you the console setup screen soon so you can see here all the alerts and messages will come here so this is good feature also so now you can see the console setup is ready and you can see the IP address is one to one so I'm going to log into this machine now and six 92.168.0.121 and you can see the true NAS scale is available here and just put the user's name and password and now you can see the system information which is going to be give you the version of operating system true NAS scale you can see the uptime also you can go ahead and do the tweaks here or whatever features you don't want you can enable disable and save it so on the dashboard you can see only whatever you you want so this is good so now again you can see the storage we don't have any storage share data protection all these available options are available and <coughs> basically if I go here on the network you can see the NIC card is available here and if I go ahead and click the DHCP to remove the DHCP and put the IP address so 192.168.0.171 I'm going to give to this machine and submit my 624 bit so this is applied now you want to just the changes you can go ahead and test the changes and if I come here you will see the IP address will change soon so just go and if you want to test put the ping on 0.171 so now you can see the ping is now coming from 171 so let's go ahead and use the 171 to login now you can see we got the login screen on 171 for two NAS scale so I'm going to log in so you can see the IP address is got changed now and these are the basic thing you can see now if you compare uh, both two uh, NAS core and scale both are going to look similar there was no difference the only thing whatever feature uh, can support it by scale is not going few features which is not going to support it by trueness so I have already discussed those things uh, in first video of this playlist so like hyper converse compute storage is not supported by trueness core and trueness core is completely going to be free to download and use but you will get the community support only however for TrueNAS scale you can get the enterprise support also so this is all about the installation of both TrueNAS core and TrueNAS scale on the VMware Apache session 16 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post email my given mail IDs thank you again and stay tuned bye